be a preacher at church and this when she finished. When I go down, I tell her about it when I leave the side. Get out of the classroom. And the people that just come down to the church is a mad man from the school. And we own the school. But then they say, well, you will leave the world now. And we own the church and we own the school. As you know, my name is Patria. I'm now coming from the half yearly meeting that, is, that was put on by the Jamaica Teachers Association. Please enjoy the video, guys. Remember to give me a thumbs up, please leave a comment. So, walk around as people are stuck at purpose. Every day, when you get up, you speak to me. This is going to be a great day. This is going to be my best day. I'm going to become my best self. Speak what you want, and it shall happen. I remember going to Woolworth for once in Ocho and somebody said to me, I was like 13, and somebody said to me, Madam President, that you're going to travel because your eyebrows meet. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the lady, because those were the days I was young and precocious, and little did I know. Little did I know. I've done probably 12 or 13 trips since the start of the year. I'm actually living on Sunday. Little did I know, remember, this is a little boy who when he moved from primary school to secondary school. Can I tell you all of that? There is a purpose on your life. Amen. You are, this teaching is an ordinary thing in your hand. It's somebody's destiny. In your hand is somebody's future. In your hand is, is this country. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to treat it right. Number two. You go to number one, number two. You need a, number two, you need a proper perspective. Listen, man. Listen, these criminal one of the place came from our classrooms. We have too much foolishness taking place in the Ministry of Education. We have too much foolishness taking place in school. Amen. We have too much foolishness taking place in the country. Yeah. Jamaica needs people who are serious about purpose. Yeah. We, 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 we can't promote you, we can't afford you because you, you, you look this way, you, you, yeah. you belong to that party, yeah. or you belong to that church, or you belong to this. It's not about that. Understand that is a perspective that you want to intervene in somebody's life. I went to school one day as a teacher, and then a child came crying. I said, My dear, what's wrong? And she erupted in tears. And when I sat and I listened to her, I said, I can't handle this case. She had made an allegation about the teacher. So I called the principal at the time. And you know, it was one big thing because the family members of the teacher came in. In fact, the, the chairman of the, the vice chairman of the board was a police inspector. And the, the, the police had come to arrest the gentleman on the campus. And I said, no, you can't arrest the teacher on the school campus. He looked bad. So I said, I will take him down in my car. And the policeman said no, because he could jump out, and my superintendent has sent us for him. So we called the vice chairman, who was a police officer who would come, who would visit the school regularly, so no one would suspect that we just sat down. Some of us have a way of showing up our brothers and sisters and throwing people under the bus. We have to put people down to keep good about ourselves. We have to talk about people. Thank you. 
thing about going to the courthouse, the thing, it, 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 it grieved me, it hurt me, because when they showed up the neighbor, because you know, when they go to hospital and prison, by God, you know, when you go to hospital and courthouse, there's no such thing as false crime. Yes. Because when you fall out your name, everybody know why you're here. Yes. And I was so happy. The thing hurt me to the point where I, I stood there and I froze. And, and the comments of the pastor, the, 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 the comments of the neighbor of the teacher, it grieved me. And that matter went on for months. And ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what. You know, you know, my mind is, 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 is replete with so many examples. I'm talking about the proper perspective. That matter went on for two years until the child left that school and went to high school. And it went on and on and on until the parent, out of frustration, dropped the case. Many interventions were made for them to change their mind, and they didn't. But out of frustration, Mr. Meek, they dropped the case. And the day, when the parent dropped the case, as she stood in my office to tell me of her decision, with tears running down her face. By the afternoon, I got a phone call that the teacher had lost sight, his sight. Ladies and gentlemen, understand that you must have the proper perspective about the, the call that is on you. Treat the people's children fairly. Treat the people's children right. If you can get to school at 8 30, start teaching at 8 30. Don't short change the people because life has a way of coming to her too. Or help you to be careful of the decisions you make today because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Be careful of how you treat people going up because the same people you pass going up are the same people in Anderson because they are teaching you know better than nobody. When they go to the cemetery, there's no sign for the JTA. Right. When they go down to the hospital, they're going to give you a special treatment because you're a teacher. Be careful how you treat people's children. Be fair. Yeah. I was 16 and I, I, I'm almost done. <laughs> this song, One Moment in Time, was a song that made me, that confirmed what I was going to share today. I was 16 going on 17. And I'm in a classroom one summer to help two teachers who, were, who we went to the same church. And one had gotten a phone call and she asked me, some emergency with her family, and she asked me to take over her class. And I, I'm inside the classroom. And a teacher from the school comes inside and calls me and grabs the lesson to be one of them. Oh my God. Ran with the class. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I left. Went to college, fine, did my degrees, was a principal for one and a half year, became an education officer. And the first task I've given as a leader is to lead an interview. And I look down on this sheet of paper, and a particular name jumps out of And I said to myself, Cut him here. 
And the boy took up himself full of all the mother. And I hear the a, a loud barrage on the outside. Bad word upon bad word upon bad word. I had I was fooled in, in, in the vicissitudes of the Jamaican language. And tell me, I'm a big big preacher at church. Yes, when she finished. When I go down, I think I'm a big one. I will leave this.
the house when we spoil my mother's shit when I told her she can't come because I want to move on to number three. <laughs> there was once a time when we were, we were, I mean, what do you call it? Landlord took us to court. There were days when my mother came home and for days she didn't eat, she didn't speak. And if you tried engaging her in a conversation out of anger and frustration, she would run and she'd slam your door. I didn't know the time that my mother was dealing with depression because she, it, was, it was difficult to send the three of us to school. There was a time when we were living in somebody's basement and a few pieces of furniture were in somebody else's basement. And when I, I, I said, no, we've got to do something here. And God so have it, ladies and gentlemen, that what year was it? 20, 20, 2015. I was able to buy a built-in at my mother's brand new house. We were moving on Christmas Day. She was in the front section. And I said to her, why don't you go over to your quarters? And she said, what do you mean? And I said, over that all of that wing over there is yours. And she turned her back to me. And knows that what she started. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because my mother Without a father raised us up. The first time I got a pair of pants for myself, as I said before, was in grade 10 of high school. All the ones I had had before had been worn by my brothers. <laughs> there were times we had to cut out cardboard and put it in the. I know you don't know those things. We had to cut out cardboard and put it in the base of our shoes. But we were grown with a certain grace. A certain amount of Forum and dignity. So much so that when I got the job to go to Kingston, I remember quite well in the first meeting, somebody who I school who I shall not name, but she chastised somebody for not calling her by her, not, not calling her title, Dr. So so and so and so and so. And after she finished lashing the gentleman for not according her current title, she proceeded to take on a pack of shirt and biscuits and she started eating it in the and then she crossed her legs and started clipping her toenails. Oh my God. And I said to myself, if my mother, as poor as she was, was in this room, she would have a fit. Because although we were poor, we were grown up with a certain class. Yeah. And that's why I believe that teachers, when you, when you put yourself together, when you speak, you must look a certain way, man. Yeah. You have to be a model to which other people aspire. People should want to emulate you. I was in I was in Kuala Lumpur busy chatting with them back home here. And uh, you know, gentlemen, when you take your, your trousers off, um, they have to the crease. And I'm there trying to iron up the crease. And I'm busy, you know, involved in the cell phone conversation back home. And when I, I smelled something, and when I looked down, there was a big black hole in the pants because the iron hot. Oh my god. I, I don't mind iron in that my thing. Big, big old hole in the iron, in the pants. And I just kissed my teeth and threw the pants away. Because truth be told, I have a suit that can wear a suit every day of the month and not repeat. God is good. Yes. Okay, okay, listen to me. You know, part of the reasons for why I'm where I am, because I understood a purpose objective. I understood the proper perspective. And I understood that I needed to have a personal corrective. Every day I'm not perfect, but every day I get up, I think about it. Did I do my best yesterday? And where I did somebody wrong, I would call and apologize. When we talk to the next morning, you are busy, this is your busy, but the culture of the God is your way. But ladies and gentlemen, we have to embark on a path that has us becoming better. Yeah. We can't teach the same way we taught last year. Yeah. You can't use the same lesson plan here right now, 15, 20 years, the same lesson plan.
You have too many gift things inside of you. There are too many income generating ideas inside of you, but you are fearful. Come out of that man. Explore. Become an entrepreneur. Commercialize. You must have a nice car. You must have your own home. Yes. 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 You cannot be carrying your JT to the point where.
as your were colleagues, the election was held in the third week of June. And for, we had the, well, for the first year, we had the election done electronically. First year, we have electronic voting only. We are very unhappy with the number of persons who voted. Very unhappy. And I must inform your colleagues that that's the way we will be going when we have started. And that's how we will continue. We are actively ensuring that the database is completed to ensure that we have all the relevant bits of information for the teachers and we'll ensure that whatever glitches or challenges we had last time that those are sorted out. He's taking me But we 
too many instances because we have no choice. We are aware of all these issues. There is not an issue that confront the teachers of Jamaica that we are not aware of, that, do, that does not impact us and touch us to the core. Dr. Smith this morning indicated that he is a teacher. I am a teacher. So too is the president as well as the, the immediate past president and many of the individuals who serve in the secretariat. So the issues that confront every teacher in Jamaica, whether small or large, whether we think it is insignificant, it affects all of us. And therefore, as I rise at this point to speak to the issues that confront all of us, ladies and gentlemen, I can speak with the greatest level of confidence that we are speaking from one voice. We are teachers, we disadvantage our poor. I state, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, that floating in the public domain at this time is the fact that other unions, perhaps representing other public sector workers, are willing and ready to accept what the government has offered. But for us as teachers, it is no deal. We cannot have a situation where what is presented to our teachers will leave us worse off. Exactly. We're not going to accept that. No. No. What was presented to you no. in the consultation is what was presented to us. Please note that we have requested from the government information that they have since presented to us just yesterday. Documents were presented to the Jamaica Teachers Association just yesterday. The Salaries and Conditions of Service Committee will again meet to review the information that was received from the Ministry of Finance and the information that we required or asked of them was information to indicate how they arrived at the bands that they are proposing. How it is that the alignment of teachers were made in comparison to other individuals in other sectors. How it is they arrived at the figures that they are proposing. They have since presented us that information. Ladies and gentlemen, the team will now examine these documents to re-evaluate the proposals and the counter-proposals proper prior to our last meeting. Of course, having been engaged with many teachers in the consultations that were carried we now understand the particular temperature of the teaching profession. We understand, ladies and gentlemen, that we are not going to take anything from the government that is going to leave us worse off. Colleagues, there is a statement that is being made or was made by the Ministry of, or Minister of Finance that no teacher will be left worse off and therefore if, if the teacher gets one dollar more on the salary, he or she would not be worse off. We have rejected that. 
teachers are teachers, ought to be teachers of class. We don't want any handouts. We work every day in conditions that are unsavory to make our country a better place. We must be people who demand value for our service.